they like what do they like samantha tell them what they like get it together hey everyone thank you for watching today's video i'm so excited to do it's going to be a new will i buy it this is my series i post every single wednesday where i chat with you over all of the new makeup releases i'll link my playlist down below and the community playlist and also any of the accounts that i'm reading this information from but we have a lot to get through this week so let's go ahead and get started Okay, well, welcome. Well, welcome to a new week of new makeup releases. I'm not gonna lie, I am struggling really badly today with a headache, and it's like one of those headaches that's like it feels like it's in my eyes. Uh, I woke up this morning and I was like, wow, <laughs> wow, I don't feel well. And uh, I kept trying, like I kept, you know, trying to get up and like work and go. I, like I tried to go to the gym. It was the worst workout I've done since moving here. And I just can't seem to get it together. So I've just been laying in bed in my like completely dark room with the washcloth over my eyes. But I knew that I needed to film the will I buy it. But it's kind of kind of hard for me to be by my light plus by the window. It's kind of a lot. And I was trying to move in different places. But we're just going to have to get through it. So if I look like I don't feel great, it's because I don't. <laughs> but uh no sick days um you know but i've been trying i've been trying to rest all day up until i was like okay i have to film this i have to get this video filmed so i can edit it but if i have a hard time looking at the camera that is why i like, guess i don't get headaches very often but when i do they tend to be really bad i don't think that they're migraine i think that's like a whole other ball game but yeah when i when i tend to get them they usually tend to be in in my eye i don't know if that makes sense but like in my eyes and it just hurts it just hurts okay Anyways, let's jump into it. I did a little bit of filming on this look, mostly just for my base products. I've been having so many people talk to me about the Dior powder, and I really wanted to show a demo of the Dior Backstage Face and Body Liquid Foundation plus their powder, no powder. So that is what I have on. I've gotten so many compliments on my base makeup, and I mean, I've been wearing the Dior powder with pretty much everything, but that with the liquid foundation is so beautiful. So that will be coming to my Instagram reels. Okay. Let's start off. Oh, I guess I need to scoot over. Oh, and this is where we do the OOTD. Okay, today I do actually, I, I did put a dress on. You know, like sometimes when you don't feel well, you like try to dress it up a little bit more just because you're like, maybe that will make me feel better. That's kind of what I was going for today. So instead of wearing like my usual leggings and such, I was like, put a dress on and pretend that you feel okay. <laughs> That's what I try to do when I don't feel well, but some people have told me they liked the little OOTD sections in my videos. So uh, I just got this dress from Target. It was a while ago. If it's still available, I can link it. Um, but yeah, I just got it from Target. It's all just a casual dress. Okay, so let's start out with, um, we're going to start out with uh, Natasha Denona. So she is coming out with the Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum. The amount of tags I got on this was pretty funny. A silky liquid blush serum hybrid to achieve an easy, soft, and natural flush of color. Uh, these are going to be $22 each or 65 or I'm sorry, 56 Oh, gosh. <laughs> 56 for the bundle. And there's tan, Dara, and bloom. Will be available May 26th. Yeah, I'm thinking I should probably grab one, huh? Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I, I am now the cream and liquid queen of youtube sam ravendell who like i don't even I, I don't even know i really did enjoy that sam watched my uh ranking of my cream makeup video and left a comment on there that she she's very supportive she's very kind and that that really made my day so if you haven't seen it yet i do have a video ranking all of my cream and liquid blushes bronzers and highlights and i do make the announcement in there that i am now a cream and liquid type of girl so yeah i think i'm gonna pick up one of these from natasha it sounds interesting Curious to try it out. I do have the Auric highlight on today, the new Iconic London uh, liquid bronzer that I bought. I'm really liking that. I'm really liking the bronzer so far. It's only been two times, but I'll be reviewing my my most recent Sephora haul soon. But I really like it. So yeah, I'm probably yep, gonna pick one of these up. Okay, perfect. This next release I saw on Indie Makeup Spotlight. Uh, and this is CXC Beauty. They are launching the Refined Radiance Bronzers. They're launching on the 28th in 25 shades. That is so wild to me. That's so amazing. Even just like looking at the photo, I'm like, 
I mean, like, what, like, what do you say? Like, how, like, how awesome? Um, CXC Beauty. If you're not following them yet, I have a a custom palette from them uh, that one of my friends did send over to me, which was so so awesome. It's a really beautiful purple and green palette, and they just seem like such a, a kind brand. Uh, I talk to them quite a bit on Twitter. We chat with each other on Twitter, and I, I'm really excited for this launch. I'm really excited for them for this launch. Uh, I definitely think I should pick one up. I'm trying to decide. I can't. Are they? Because in some, I'm not quite sure. In some swatches, they look like cream. But then it doesn't say that. It just says refined radiance bronzers. I mean, I don't see a price yet either on them. But I think I'm just going to, I'm just, we're going to grab one. Sometimes, obviously you want shade, you know, you want a shade range and everything. I think it might take me a little bit to figure out which shade to get since there's so many options. You know, I'd rather have more options than not enough options and this, I'm just really impressed with this. So, uh, very excited for CXC Beauty and I'm excited to try out a bronzer. So, two for two, looking good. A few more, let's just like stick with the Indie Makeup Spotlight for a second here. So a few more releases that I saw on their page. This is a new collab with Midas Cosmetics and The Basic B. This is the Perception palette available now for $39. So this looks really fun. So it's a bigger palette. So we have five, 10, 15, 20. So we have 20 shades in there. That looks to be like quite a few neon colors. I can't tell if maybe these are like glitters in here or just like, really shimmery shadows i mean the swatches look really pretty color scheme i don't know if i'd get the most use out of it it's a little bit larger than i than i typically go for i also i i'm i'm not feeling super drawn to eyeshadow palettes right now um i feel like mostly what i'm buying is complexion products <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself, but that's mostly what I'm buying at this moment. Um, so I should, and I feel like maybe it's because I'm doing such simple looks. I did get the new, I feel like my eyes look so terrible. Um, I did get the new Kaleidos, uh, flower punk palette. That's what I have on, uh, today. That's what I had on in my previous video also. And I'll be doing another tutorial coming up on my Instagram with the green look or with the green shadows in the palette. But, um, I don't, when it comes to like buying palettes, I think right now, I have my eye on a few a few other things but we do have some more palettes also these are from lethal cosmetics and this is the rights collection so there's pre-made palettes and also empty palettes all of the shadows are also available as single shadows okay so i once again i will link them down below i mean i do kind of like that one pre-made palette that has the, the the purples and the pinks in there that looks really pretty i've never tried lethal cosmetics myself i would love to know if you've tried them and what you think uh but i think i'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to try to keep passing. I'm going to try to keep passing on the, on the eyeshadows. And then we also have a new mega eyeshadow palette, the Your Golden coming from ColourPop. This one has 30 shades full of warm neutrals, and this is going to be available on May 27th. I don't go for the, these larger eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I know a lot of people like, I think it's the Stone Fox that people really like. And I think, did Kathleen Lights have a larger palette with ColourPop? I think like people like them and, and, and such. It's just my personal preferences. And to me, there's like so many of the same colors. That's usually what happens. What I, I feel like happens with larger palettes is it's like so many of the same. And I'm like, I'm just, I don't feel like I need that. So probably going to be passing over those. And then from P Louise, we have the new eyeshadow palettes and paints. So we have the All I See is Signs eyeshadow palette with 21 shades and then three mini eyeshadow palettes. Okay. I haven't tried anything from P Louise. There's not much that like really calls my attention. Once again, a larger eyeshadow palette, those kind of just immediately are like a no for me. Some of the smaller ones with the eight shades, once again, the purple one looks really, really gorgeous. Um, and the swatches look really nice also. I just, I don't feel like, don't feel like I need it right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay strong because I feel like a Sephora trip is in my future to get those Natasha blushes. <laughs> oh, you know is what it is is what it is from chanel chanel is celebrating a hundred years of celebrity with their iconic number five all right so they're coming out with a new eyeshadow quad which has four shimmery shades right now all i see is coming soon so that's all i got for you uh i don't think that i would grab it you know that's cute that's it's exciting to like celebrate and all but it doesn't i don't feel like i absolutely need it or i would really reach for it a lot it's probably going to be expensive so 
I'm gonna pass. This next release is very interesting to me because when I saw this on Trend Mood, I immediately was like, ooh, Kaja's coming out with new products. I just recently purchased the Kaja Sculpting Stack for face with the cream bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. So when I saw this photo, I was like, ooh, I wonder, is it eyeshadows? Is it another stack for the face? Turns out it's actually by Morphe too. <laughs> Did anyone else think this was Kasha? Because I, I sure did. So this is the new Quad Goals Multi Palettes. Snap up four looks in one easy to use stack and they're gonna be $16 per stack. Uh, let's see, will be available May 25th online at Morphe. I don't know, I'm a little bit confused. I guess I, I, I mean, I don't know, it just seems so similar. You know, sometimes it's like certain shades are similar or you know sometimes things are just like on trend so you kind of see them a lot throughout different brands but this is just like i don't know that one was kind of weird to me but i'm not a huge fan of morphe so i'm gonna go ahead and skip over this release uh and then next up we have let's see oh there's a new collection coming from uh kiko milano this is from um this is available now at Ulta. This is the new Dolce Diva collection. So we have an after sun cream, um, a baked blush trio, bronzer, highlighter, there's a blender kit, there's brushes, eyebrow products, powders, I mean nails, I, I, there's a lot. Whenever It seems like whenever Kiko Milano comes out with a new collection, which is like every couple of months, like it's pretty, they pretty consistently come out with these collections. They're really large. They have a lot of different products to them. But I've said this before about the Kiko Milano brand, that it seems like they come out with a lot of products, but not ones that I feel like would be suitable to everybody. Like when they come out with a bronzer, it's really like only geared towards the shade range. And it's like, I would like to see less products, like a less overwhelming collection, and then just a better range, I think would be great. But I personally haven't tried Kiko Milano yet, so I don't have a lot to go off of, but I just, they don't really grab me in. They don't really grab me in. So I think that I would pass on that. And then let's see, from Jouer. Jouer is coming out. This is available at Beautylish and Sephora, the new French Riviera collection for summer. So we have the eyeshadow palette for $34, which has nine shades. There's a shimmer lip kit for 38 and the blush and bloom cheek and lip duos for 32. The eyeshadow palette, I just was kind of like, okay. Sometimes Jouer, I think they're, a cute brand and every once in a while a product will grab my attention I do really like their powder uh, blush and bronzer duos I think those are really good but the eyeshadow palettes I can't say they don't usually grab me I mean it does look really pretty for for spring and sp spring and summer but um, the the blush and bloom cheek and lip duos I mean I like thought about it for a second because I've turned over this new leaf but um, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. I don't at the the shimmer lip kit. I don't feel like I would need anything from the collection. I think I'll be pretty good. And then uh, from Revolution Pro, okay, don't want to get that wrong. Revolution Pro, they are coming out with their Creme Skin Perfectors CC Skin Tint. So it says this new skin tint boosts boasts. I'm sorry. In, sorry, I'm such a hot mess. An innovative shade adapting technology that means they change color and adapt to suit your skin tone once blended out. I feel like that's what a lot of like CC creams say, but you know, it's a new skin tint. It's $16. That's always fun. Um, let's see. It looks like there's 18 shades if I did not say, and it's available now. You know, I am really into trying skin tints. I will have my skin tint ranking video coming up next week. So stay tuned for that because I'm really excited to share that one. But once again, I just, I don't really feel like drawn to the brand all that much. If you would really want to see a review on the skin tint let me know but i also kind of want to pick up the one from nabla i've been talking to my friend heather austin and she really really likes the one from nabla so i'm thinking i should have grabbed that one what do you think this is an interesting release the brand hymns uh is coming out with the blur stick and they have tapped uh uh a rod why am i blanking on his name i know his name what is happening to me. You can tell I don't feel well when I can't think of Alex Rodriguez's name. I kept wanting to say Aaron, and then I was just. <sighs> we have from the brand Hymns, the blur stick. Aries, are you making fun of me? Queen, we're supposed to be supporting each other right here, okay? So this is to camouflage everything from blemishes to razor burn to dark eye circles with this easy to use formula and sweat proof. So it's kind of interesting. I guess, I, I don't know. 
I, I've seen, I was reading some of the, the comments and people seem kind of split on like, should there be a brand only focused for the male gender or not? And then some people are saying like, it's great because maybe that would make men feel more comfortable carrying around makeup and it just seemed very split. And I, I feel like I'm someone who can like get the, the point of view from each side. Like, I don't think makeup is for any gender. Anyone can wear it. Anyone should be able to wear it. That's, you should be able to carry it. You should be able to do whatever you want. Um, and th I don't know. So that's what I think. But then it's also like, mm, is it bad to have a brand that's kind of like, that's kind of their niche? Because there's a lot of brands across the board from makeup to fashion to, I mean, food, groceries, like they have their own specific niche or maybe their own specific um, category that they focus on. So I kind of think of it that way too. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Do I personally need it? Like, I think, could I wear it? I, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a blur stick. Like, yes, I could wear this with someone that identifies as female. So, um, but I don't think that I personally need it, but I don't, that's kind of my thoughts. If we, we can maybe have some discussions, uh, in the, in the comments about it, but I'm mostly just embarrassed that I can't think of Alex Rodriguez's name. All right, I also see that MAC, uh, this is just like a sneak peek, but they're about to drop a new collection and it's gonna include a highlighter in Fleur Sure. So I just have coming soon, but I immediately got flashbacks. So it wasn't it called Fleur Real? Their other highlight that I was so excited about and it was like all in overspray and I was like, no, what has happened? I just, I remember that one. I was so mad about it. I talked about that highlighter in so many videos. People were finally like, Samantha, we know, like move on from that. And I was like, no, I just like really want you to know how upset I was about that highlight so uh I don't see myself picking this one up I'm gonna say and then I'm gonna go over to hotfire.makeup she had a couple releases that she shared about one is that Huda Beauty is coming out with the new Glow Wish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder this is gonna be available on June 1st it's gonna be $31 and then there's also a brush coming out for $27 I will say I did not think Huda Beauty when I first saw this picture. I actually kind of thought, I think it was like L'Oreal that I was thinking of. I feel like they have a bronzer that looks similar-ish in packaging. Uh, so I was a little bit, I was a little bit surprised to, to see that it was Huda Beauty. Cause I feel like they kind of have their packaging, you know, down, but you know, I do love trying bronzers. I'm a big fan. Do I need a new one right now? Probably not, especially cause I just bought the one from Iconic London and all the other ones that I bought in my Sephora haul prior to that. So probably gonna end up skipping over that. And then we also have, oh wait, there's also another, what's this? Wait, what's this? New, okay, from Huda Beauty, Glow Wish. There's also a skin tint coming. Did I know about this? This is the Glow Wish multi Dew Skin Tint for $37, available in 13 shades. Uh, gives you a perfect level of pearl to blur and brighten. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Again, this packaging, that just is, is I, I, I don't know. This, just, to me, does not seem like Huda Beauty. It's kind of freaking me out. I feel like I'm saying the wrong thing. No, that's what it is. Okay. How many skin tints do I need to buy right now? I, I'm still kind of leaning towards Nabla. I'm still, like, if I'm going to pick up another one, I feel like I'm still leaning towards Nabla. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts though, but that's another product that's coming out. Ooh, I almost missed that one. Back to Trend Mood, I feel like I have uh, some lip products to chat about. So we have, this one is really interesting from Westman Atelier. This is their new lip suede, the Le, the Le Nude Lip Palette. I definitely, when I saw this, I thought this was a face product. Like I, I thought this was like a blush, some sort of compact for your for your face. But this is actually a lip color palette with four nude shades and it's gonna be $85. Right now it says sold out on the website but coming soon to different retailers. Uh, I don't think I would pick this up. I just, I can't imagine I would reach for it all that often. Like it doesn't seem like the most practical of items to me. Uh, but it's just, it's interesting though. Like it gave me a, a double take, especially when it was like, this is a lip palette. I was like, huh? Cause you know, we kind of have, I, I don't know. There's like a certain, what I think of when I think of lip palette is definitely not this, but especially for the $85, I think I'll be okay to pass on that one. 
Uh, and then we have from Lawless Beauty. They are coming out with new shades in their Forget the Filler Lip Plumper Lip Line Smoothing Gloss. Alrighty. So these are $25. I have the original that came out and it is really, really good. I wear it all of the time. It's one of my favorite glosses. Uh, it just, it, it makes your lips look bigger without like the tingling effects of the plumping lip glosses, which I do appreciate. So now we have new, sh new shades in Daisy Pink and Velvet. I kind of like the looks of the velvet one. It looks to be maybe just a little bit darker. The Daisy I think is pretty and I know that's named after Annie's baby, um, Daisy. And But I don't wear, like Annie Lawless can pull off that like baby pink so well. And I don't really think, I can't, I really don't feel like I can pull off pink all that well. Today's lip I feel like I just, obviously I'm like very pink today. But it's kind of harder for me to pull off. If like probably I should say when I run out of my original gloss I would definitely purchase another one so I don't know I might grab another shade and from elf cosmetics they are coming out with new additions to the jelly pop family so this is available now for members and oh no so it's available now for everyone and at Ulta Beauty so we have a lip mask a glow stick a glitter mask a juicy gloss and the jelly pop skincare set Okay, so the, you know, e.l.f. definitely, I think, is coming out with a lot of good releases right now, um, but I can't say anything from this line really has me all that intrigued, so I would pass over that, but they all, you know, look to be really affordable, which is great. Oh, I missed this, that NARS is coming out with their new Orgasm on the Beach for summer 2021. This is the uh, Orgasm on the Beach Cheek Palette for $59, say that with a straight face. And then also the Jumbo Orgasm Blush for $40. I just don't know why we're doing this. I just am like, why? Why is, why? Why is this happening? We, who, we don't need a Jumbo Orgasm Blush. Okay. Um, trying not to make any jokes here. And the On the Beach Cheek Palette, a lot of times they just look so similar to one another. NARS is a brand that they do have good products. Like they, there's products from NARS that I do enjoy, but a lot of times when they come out with these collections, it's just like the same thing and then the same thing and then it's limited edition and then they come out with the same thing and I'm like, huh, I'm so confused. So I can't say that this one turned my attention really at all, so I'd pass on that. And then Wayne Goss just released some new brushes. This is the Goss Edit Collection. So we have seven different brushes handcrafted by artisans in Japan, but with a few special upgrades and this is coming May 25th. Uh, I don't see the price. Wait, May 25th. What is the date that I'm filming this? I figured the price would be more expensive. It looks like this is going to be $225. So that's quite a bit for brushes. I love brushes. I do like the Wayne Goss brushes also. Uh, I, I think that they're really, the ones that I have tried, I do think are good quality. I just think I, I'm going to I'm gonna pass on those, but I'm sure, I'm sure there's going to be lots of videos about them and people are going to love them so much and they're going to make me really jealous but I think it's probably for the best if I skip over those. And then, let's see, I think we just have a little bit more skincare to chat about. I see that Fresh Beauty is coming into Ulta Beauty. So the Fresh uh, skincare brand is gonna be available May 29th online and August 7th in store. So just a little update there. I've tried Fresh in the past and I did like some of their products. I don't have anything in my collection currently and I'm okay. I feel like I'm still thriving. Not today. I'm not thriving today, but <laughs> that's okay. Just, you know, just some makeup news to let you know that. And then I see that Sol de Janeiro is coming out for a limited time with their Boom Boom Soul Oil with SPF 30. So it's a body oil with sunscreen. I'm like, I'm kind of curious about this because I feel like a lot of times when people are doing like the body oil in the sun, it's like they want to get a tan or a sunburn or skin cancer, I don't know, whichever one you signed up for. With this having the SPF, I'm like, okay, all right. Uh, I'm getting into more of these products. If you caught my last Sephora haul, I bought like a, a like spray highlighter from Patrick Ta. I would never, I would never buy something like that in Iowa. And here it's like, the weather's always so beautiful and there's pools and there's just like the outdoors in general and now i'm buying all of these types of products so i'm like i don't know i'm kind of curious about that i'm also very uh intense about my spf ask anyone who lives in the complex with me i'm always harping on people about wearing their spf like if we're ever by the pool i'm like anyone need anything you need any spf we went hiking i was trying to get people to put the spf on i was like please 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 just wear your spf uh, so I don't know, I'm kind of, like, I have to say, like, I'm kind of curious about that one. 
I don't know. And then I have a few more. So uh, Glow Recipe is coming out with a new addition to the watermelon family. This is their Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial. This is going to be available on the 29th. Uh, so it has BHA, PHA, and blueberry seed powder to provide super gentle physical exfoliation. Uh, okay, since it's with the watermelon extract, my skin typically does have a reaction to watermelon. So that's going to have to be a no for me. So that's a bummer. And then a couple, is it just hair care that I, let me just double check myself because I keep thinking like the video is almost over and I'm like, no, oh, we still got more to go. I mean, I love filming these videos, but my eyes. <laughs> Oh, I hope it don't get made fun of too much, but it's fine. It's, you know, it is what it is. No big deal. Uh, okay, so from Briogeo, we have new additions to the Superfoods family. So we have the Mango and Cherry Oil Control and Balancing Shampoo and Conditioner. These are $28 each. I do really like Briogeo products. Um, so it looks like to help balance oil production, minimize dullness, hydrate the hair. I do like Brogio. I have their one of their new masks in my shower right now. I think it's like the avocado one. Uh, and so I've been using that and I like it. I do, I, since I do have extensions, uh, there are like specific shampoos and conditioners that the stylists have referred to me. So I've been using those right now. What's in my shower is from Oribe. So that's what I've been using. So I don't think I would need a new shampoo and conditioner, but I do still like their mask and I've been given the okay to use that. So all kinds of things you have to learn when you decide to put extensions in. So yeah, and then I see a collaboration uh, with Bellamy Hair and Amrezi. I feel like I have not heard Bellamy Hair mentioned in a while. I think when I first started watching YouTube, so many people had their hair extensions and I'd always hear people chatting about them. Uh, but, so this is a collab with Amrezi who is so super beautiful. I mean, this photo is just freaking gorgeous. So everything is all pink. We have a flat iron for $59.99. Um, a one and a half barrel size curling iron for $54.99. There's different hair clips and a large hair clip. Purse is complimentary to the first 100 that purchase, or you can do the bundle for $99.99. will be available on May 28th. Okay, so that's super cute. So congratulations to Amrezi. And again, this is like little, like how do I look like this? I mean, I wore pink. I have pink eyeshadow. Like what, how do I... How do I make this happen? Um, but so a huge congratulations to her. I don't think I would need anything from the collection myself. Uh, I really don't even use my curling wand anymore. If I do curls, I'm typically just doing the rope curls or like braiding my hair and trying to wave it that way. So yeah, I think I should be pretty good there. But other than that, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. <laughs> Thank you so much. This one was a little bit of a struggle for me, but I'm sure tomorrow will be fine. Usually when I get these headaches, they really don't last long and it's just like, you know, I just have to deal with them and it's fine and it'll go away and it'll be fine. But thank you so much for, for putting up with me for this video. I really do appreciate it. I would love to hear any of your thoughts on these products down below. Uh, other than that, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.